What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day. And also, don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials, pick up Arrangement Arsenal Scorpion Edition. Get the arrangements from the record-breaking album Scorpion and put your beat sales store on fire. Now, today we're going to be looking at another entry into the Studio One Four Beginner Series Manual. This this is a tutorial on the stock limiter. The stock limiter, um, before I read the manual, um, really, really frustrated me. Um, and that's because I was used to using other limiters and they were just set up a little differently. So first we're gonna have to do some setup work to, to kind of make this thing go right. Um, and the first thing that you want to do uh, when you get your, when you got your stock limiter open is go ahead and set your ceiling to negative negative one db right and i don't know why that is that is chained to the threshold but that is weird yeah all right and then you want to set your and then you want to set your threshold to negative one too and this is what this is gonna what this is gonna prevent is this is gonna pre it, when when you set a ceiling on a limiter and and every if you read any manual of every of any limiter uh especially like the good ones like fab filter and stuff like that they'll tell you that you need to uh set the threshold a little bit lower because what happens is if you set your threshold at, at zero the uh the limiter when it bounces to a to a to a very lossy format like say um mp3 for example even if you use the 320 setting it's going to there's going to be some some artifacts that don't translate well and if the if if you set your ceiling to you know to zero those artifacts uh, uh, uh actually clip your audio so if you leave yourself a db um of space you're going to be clear of that and if you've been um you know, if you've been trying to master your own tracks up until this point and, you know, it sounds good in the DAW and then when you put it in the car, the, the 808 is farting a little bit or something like that, try setting your DB or try setting your uh, your ceilings in, in your mastering plugs to uh, negative one, negative two, and you're going to notice a really big difference. So, um, yeah, so just to because I'm all about templates and, and making everything cool, uh, quick. So let's set the release to like 100 milliseconds, ceiling it uh, almost negative one. This one almost a negative one. Click this and you want to put this as a default preset. Now, um, Every time you open uh, the limiter up, this will be set up and you'll be able to have a go at it and it'll be fine. Now, if we listen to this track right here, I've got Ozone and Slate um, F, uh, F, uh, FGX doing my mastering compression and it sounds like this. All right, so that it's it's slapping, it's it, it's big and bad. Um, let's go ahead and take this off now, and let's listen to what the, just the mix sounds like. All right, so now in order to in order to use the stock limiter, we're just gonna we're just gonna engage it, and all I'm gonna do is with these settings right here, uh, this it's it's easy to use, just like the slate, just like the slate. Um, the slate limiter right on on the slate limiter you just push this gain up and it limits for you so we're going to do the same thing this is this is the input and we're just going to push it up until we get our levels where we want it you see pay attention to to the reduction right here um you know we just want to squeeze it a few db And if we look at tonal balance control, we've got we've got pretty much a dead on um, 
the same amount of compression uh, in the signature as our reference material, which is the White Iverson instrumental. So this this limiter super slept on. Um, you know, once you set the settings up right and you understand what things do, but. <laughs> So yeah, and it's that simple to use to use the uh, the stock limiter. So uh, copy these settings down, reset them to to your stock settings, and then all you got to do is run this input up, and you know make sure make sure that your um you know that your final mix before you you know before you get into limiting is set at um is you know is set at you know peaking somewhere between negative six and negative three and then you'll have plenty of headroom to use to use this limiter this is this is a really slept on um plug-in inside studio one because it looks so it, it looks so basic but I, I mean you hear it compared to you know compared to my uh compared to my uh my slate and ozone um mastering chain and it is it is holding up um also if you guys want to go to the site and check out my lit mastering presets i have presets uh, uh profiles in which i kind of you know I, I some of my favorite settings that i use personally inside ozone i replicated them with studio one stock plug and so you can get that for 9.99 want you guys to keep it simple and don't be basic and we will see you on the next one